to do 82L playoff predictions. Tonight. Okay, there you go. Fix the hair a little bit, you know. Um, I'm just going to go through them, and hopefully it's fair. This is fairly fast. I did not think I was going to be here, but it looks like my plans ended up not happening. So, uh, cheers to everybody. Well, we're going to use uh, Dale's, uh, where it at? Dill posted a couple of links for uh, predictions. So we're going to do these predictions. And I'm just going to give a reason. And I, my goal is to make this video fairly fast. I don't want it to be a long one. I don't want to bore you guys. Um, we're going to do contender and intermediate. Not many reasons. Very short content, boys. Very, very short. So short that half this, half this content is going to be me telling you how short it is. When in reality, it really <laughs> isn't. So, uh, do I create a prediction. So I have the contender league here and you can pick it up by the way over here okay so just a little thing Steve shout out to Steve he's no longer with us but uh he did what uh I recommended as well as a couple other I I really fought for this is just going one to eight so seed one seed two and then this is uh Three, that's four, uh, that's five, six, and then they did division two as uh, they did a division two as kind of the bottom six seed. So they did end up doing that and uh, contender, which I agree with. Extra Live still get a fairly good matchup against Mary Todd Lincoln. A close game. I think they could beat them. But I also think Mary Todd Lincoln's probably one of the best teams that has ever gone and won zero games. They got the shitty and the stick. They go down here, they're going to beat some teams. Um, so I'm kind of curious, you know, what will happen. Extra Live's 2-0 to TVS Rogue. Lemon Snow Cones 1-1 Savage Sabres. And that gave them the... Kind of the second seed. And Lemon Snow Cones will be facing my ex-team, Mr. Juke Boy. I think that'll also be a close match. I honestly think these two and these two are probably matches that are going to be insanely close. I think every other contender game in the first round is going to most likely be a stop. Tevis Rogue, CO did become an Ancient One, which he's allowed to. He's not a Smurf, guys. Don't claim he's a Smurf. Um... You know, he could put up a little fight against the Jahabit Hetzbro, but I just don't think, I think their mid's going to be Okla. I, I, I just don't, I don't see it. So I'm going to go create a prediction. Oh, wait, the hell? Do I not get to name it? Where, oh, there it is. Okay, guys. Okay, we're good. We are good. I was like, the hell? I haven't used this program in a while, so apologies. I actually think Extra Lives can advance against Mary Todd Lincoln. Extra Lives did not win a single game. I mean, wait, Mary Todd Lincoln did. Okay, guys, this is going to be tough. Mary Todd Lincoln didn't win a single game. Extra Lives is really feeling themselves. You know, Dan has a plan. I think they're they're just gonna do a solid job against Mary Todd Lincoln. Though if Mary Todd Lincoln wins, it's not the end of my bracket. Just uh, it fell through. The next two are really obvious: Fellowship of the Ping and Digital Habitat Sprout. We have two teams that are in Div One. Uh, they ended up with six wins, and they're against teams with 
five and four. Like it's pretty, uh, uh, and division two, a weaker division. And, and I'm not saying some of these, you know, like I'd say these two teams, but I'd say after these six teams, there's a huge line in the sand of, okay, these are definitely teams that are up here. And then the rest. Extra Lives, I think, and I said this before, I think they're the seventh best team in 82L. But even if you're the seventh best, you're going to have to, you'd be just swapping a spot with one of these teams anyways. You'd either face them or Drugs and Dota. So it's kind of tough for me. Mr. Jukeboy 11 Snow Cones. I think Mr. Jukeboy can win. I think Snowy's a good pickup for him. I think Lemon Snow Cones, you know, they only play like once a week. Uh, though Mr. Jukeboy has not played as five. I've never seen him play as five still. But I think 204 can lead him to victory as well as Snowy. Red 5 standing by and the, well, guys, again, Dev 1, reigning supreme. This is where it gets tricky. If you noticed, I picked 7 out of 8 teams in Division 1. The only upset, I think, is Extra Lives and Mary Todd Lincoln. Extra Lives has to face the 1 seed. Now, I actually did okay in the mid lane, the one game against the result oriented thinkers. And I thought we could win. It ended up, we, we, uh, or was it them? So we played in the second game. I actually did pretty good, but we just kind of fell through. Like there was nothing uh, my team could do, but they're a really good team. They're very solid. They're at the top for a reason. I think they beat extra lives. I think it kind of sucks that I don't get to predict like, is it going to be 2-0 or 2-1? I think it, this is going to be like a 2-0. I think this series is going to be like a 2-1. I think Mary Todd Lincoln's going to get their first win. And this is going to be a 2-0. I think these games are going to be both under 30 minutes. Unless the result-oriented thinkers has a really late-game-oriented draft. And they are... Um, you know, they just make a mistake or something. But I think... I even go as far as say that Fellowship of the Ping and Digital Habitats Pro. This is the one I was having a really difficult time deciding because I think Fellowship of the Ping are our are, are friends. They are not going to be really mad at each other if they lose. They know each other real life. They drink, you know, they're a bunch of alcoholics. Digital Habitats Pro, I've heard a lot of things, you know, like some good things, some bad things. You know, the players are all over the board. I think they ha are better skilled. I think Scotty's the best mid laner in 82L contender. But are they going to be able to beat Fellowship of the Ping? Is the power of friendship enough? OG said yes, so I'm going to say yes as well. Fellowship of the Ping. I'm I'm cheering for them. I like to see it, but who knows? Honestly, this series I I have no predictions. They could all be one hour games. Who knows? I Joe, you don't know what JoJo does. JoJo does what he wants to do. He dies the most. Um, drugs of Dota, Mister Duke Boy, very easy. Uh, two o twenty five minutes under. Uh, Red Five standing by in the Petting Zoo rejects. Uh, I think Petting Zoo kind of delays games. I think they make some errors that teams don't do. They have one strategy. Teams figure them out. I think it could be a 2-1 series, but I think Red 5 standing by. Defending champs, they're going here. They're going here. Now, the last... Now, we got to go into the semifinals. Got to pick who we want to go in the finals. I don't want to feel... I don't want people to think I'm picking the higher seed, but I did on all of them. Except for extra lives. This kind of shows you how this bracket was kind of balanced. And I'd argue it was really good. Now, they both had six wins here. Um, this is tough. Because I think Drugs of Dota has some talking issues. So I think for communication reasons, I think Red Five standing by. Will actually uh, win here. Question is over here. Results versus Fellowship of the Pig. Who is better? This is tough. This is really tough. And by the way, these predictions are just kind of my opinions. 
They're clouded in some weird judgment. But this is tough, man. Fellowship of the Ping results oriented thinkers. I don't think. Because if you beat Digital Habitat Sprout, that means your mid laner can kind of hang with the results oriented thinkers mid laner. But can you hang with their whole entire team? You know what? We're going Fellowship of the Ping Boys. We're doing it. We're we're going all in with them. I don't want to repeat. So, uh, prediction winner, Fellowship of the Ping. Why? Because if you drink alcohol, you play better at Dota. And I'm a testimony for that. Um, prediction title. I guess we will name him Fireman Alcoholics. Yikes. Okay, let me just do I want to fucking give it. Oh! Yikes. Well, that's a fail. Thanks, Dota. Well, there's my email. So, uh I added two contender predictions. There we go. We will go. I guess people can find my real name anyways on. Yeah, okay. That's contender for me. You know, Fireman Alcoholics. Let's go. We're going to create a prediction here as well for Intermediate League. Um, 14 team bracket as well. They went 1 to 14. Uh, divisions didn't really matter. I don't know how I feel. It's kind of tough for me to say because you like look at this bracket. Both teams lost. Uh, both sides lost a team. A helmets on one zero games, but you have unknown team member going twelve eleven. You have two teams going nine over here. Digital Habitat made a chance. It, it, it's fairly tough. Uh, I think there's about five teams in this. Uh... <sighs> Intermediate league. That could possibly win. Um, they are seed one to four and actually seed eight. I actually think uh, this this league this season intermediate really showed like the teams that had the most wins feel like they deserve uh, the most wins. Um, and you know what? They're all on separate sides of the bracket. Seed one, two. Seed uh, four and seed three. It's kind of makes a lot of sense to me, and I think it's fine. Um, we'll go for the first one. I don't see Team Retro beating Digital Habitat. I think that's really easy. I bad number four seed against Fivical. I, I Fivical's kind of interesting because they could beat Ibad, and you know I was kind of down on Ibad when the season started, but I think Ibad. I watch a little play. I think they're a pretty good team. I think they could do stuff. Um, Tennessee Tech Esports Club seems like a bunch of guys from Tennessee Tech. They have a good time and all, but Trail of Tears is actually a team that I think's just outside that five teams and could possibly win it i don't see it i know they're seed five but i don't know low prow gods are actually not that bad they're not a bad team now there's team o's both teams make mistakes that intermediate teams make one of them are going to move on this is a tough one the other ones i feel like the first three are easy this one is is there an actual chance for low prow gods to beat them because I believe Wait what? They didn't face each other. They got two wins. Lost there. Lost there. One one with IBAD. Two got two owed by Team Retro. That isn't good. And two owed Tennessee Tech. And what's Team O's got with their six wins? They got 2 0 by Trail of Tears at the start. TTC beat them 2 0. They beat. The hell? They faced them again? Is that real? 
They beat Nuisance. They won one with Team Retro. Is Team Retro better than I'm giving them credit for? And they won one. Huh. Who's the higher... You know what? We'll just go Team O... Ah! Well, proud gods, you won one to good team. But Team O's got two and won one, one near the end. Ah. Uh. You know, let's go Low Proud Gods. I think Low Proud Gods is going to come out with some crazy 2-1. I think they, uh, that's my prediction. TT Project versus Helmets On. I want to make a joke draft. And not during this video. I want to put Helmets On winning the whole entire league and see how many times I can get it wrong. I don't think that's going to, you know, I might do that off. But it, it'll also have Fireman's Joke predictions where i just give how i feel about each team ttp ttp project i just don't see him winning i think it'll be a 2-1 i think helmet song can win a game and i think zero hoots gaming is another team outside of that big five i suggested i think they'll move on i honestly think this season had a lot of higher seeds or actually the good teams obelisk moving to support uh Kind of working for the team, I think. Uh, not playing carry anymore. He's not a, as much of a liability for his team. So I think that's huge. Um, team Ember, honestly, is just going to go through low prowl gods. I just don't see him losing. This here is tough. So I'm going to go th complete this one first. TT Project. I think Team Ember. I think Team Ember, solid team. I think that uh, they won last season. Same roster. Sean looks like he's gotten better. I watched him uh, go 1-1 one -one with DH last week. I think I think they got what it takes to make it there. Ibad going to move here. Digital Habitat here. I'm a little biased here. I'm going to be cheering for Digital Habitat. If they win or lose, whatever. That's fine. Digital Habitat being an iBad. I just don't see iBad. I think iBad's the fifth best team out of the top five. I actually think Digital Habitat is better than them. I think if it was TTT Project, I think I almost want to say they could be that guy, the team that goes to the finals. Is my opinion. And who is going to win? Who is going to win? Guys. Digital Habitat. Digital Habitat made a change. Jukes in his natural position. He is in position four. He is ready to lead his team into the playoffs. Herbo is ready to get telescopes and win Dota games. You've heard of Staples. But have you heard of Dunder Mifflin? I don't think you have. That's my point. Staples mid going to win. Prediction title. We'll also call this Fireman Alcoholics 2. I guess everybody knows my email now. Whatever. Grats. Thanks a lot for uh, clicking that one. And we'll be uh, submitting that as well. So those are kind of my playoff predictions. I guess uh, this one mostly... Maybe this is a little. This is kind of an even. Something could happen here. Zero Hoots game could be TTP. I just don't see. I think TTP plays too good. Um, this one could change it all. If unknown. I could see Unknown winning it all in Intermediate. I could see Trail of Tears possibly beating IBAD as well. Remember I said Trail of Tears is kind of that Tier 2. Like if Top 5 or Tier 1. We have Trail of Tears. Zero Hoot. Zero Hoots Gang and <sighs> kind of in the tier two, I'd say. The kind of tier two. Then there's a step lower, and then there's a step lower than that. But we don't have to explain those. I said the top seven teams. It's a 14 team leg. You can finish, you can figure it out what I think is a low, low. Now, 
I I think unknown here. I this I, if unknown gets here, I think unknown can win too. This is really hard. And if you're like being a uh, gaming assist, making a decision, you would. Um, I I actually think if you're trying to win, you don't actually pick one of these two teams as a winner. Because I think this is one of the toughest matchups, and it's happening before the semifinals. You see how I have the top four seeds here, minus Digital Habitat beating Unknown? I actually think this team, right? I like these what you'd pick one of these three teams to win would be safer than Digital Habitat. I think picking Digital Habitat is actually like throwing away your predictions. So there you go. You have my two predictions for Contender, Intermediate. I wish every team luck. Regular season does mean something because you get to face easier opponents, but upsets do happen. And we saw last year, no team had a proper bracket after first week. After the very first week in Contender when we made one, not a single person, not one person predicted all wins right. And some people thought were shoe-ins, were not shoe-ins, even after second week. Lots goes on. This one's only a 14, not a 20, but... You know, there there is still a... Uh, I don't know. Some deviation. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and good luck in uh, playoffs and let me know how dumb my uh, predictions were. <laughs>